Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2, visiting with Robert Kowalski, the author of The Blood Pressure Cure. And we're talking about the different prescription drugs that are prescribed for hypertension. And this chapter says understanding prescription drugs. And that's what we'd like to talk to the viewers about. Right. We talked about diabetes exactly. being prescribed. They, they should understand the drugs. Whatever the drug is that a doctor prescribes, you should understand how it works. Mm -hmm. Talk with your pharmacist. Read the insert that comes along with the drug when you pick up the prescription. And in, case, in the case of hypertension, you can learn extensively about all the classes of drugs. Last time we visited, we talked about the diuretics, mm -hmm. how they work and what their side effects might be. The next category of drug frequently prescribed is the beta blocker. This is almost always prescribed after an individual has had a heart attack because what it does is to slow heart rate. It, your heart rate oh, is uh, the, right. the resting beats of the heart much, much lower. And by doing this, it, it in effect gives your heart a rest as it's recovering mm -hmm. from that heart attack. All right. And it has a blood pressure lowering effect at the same time. Now, the side effects that are involved with it are dizziness. If you were sitting as we are right mm -hmm. now and the phone rang and you suddenly bolted upright to grab the phone, you could get dizzy. Really woozy. This, this is particularly a problem with elderly individuals who find that uh, they might actually stumble and fall. Right. And when this happens in the middle of the night, if they're combining a diuretic drug that makes you urinate more frequently mm -hmm. with the age where you urinate more frequently in the middle of the night, you get up a few times, mm -hmm. now you get up out of bed and you're dizzy, some people have fallen and even injured themselves. The next right. thing that happens is because the heart is beating at this reduced rate, there's a loss of energy. You just right. feel more fatigued. You just don't have the pep and vitality that you used to. And again, this drug, like the diuretics, has a significant ill effect on sexual uh, activity. I, right. w I wouldn't say, I almost said sexual performance. It's not that, you just don't want to anymore, and uh -huh. you can't. So you just lose your libido. Lose your libido, exactly. The next one is a very important category that wasn't around when my dad had his heart attack. All it's right. called the ACE inhibitors. It doesn't matter what that stands for, but that's mm -hmm. the term commonly used by the physicians. An ACE inhibitor works at the kidney level. The kidney largely controls blood pressure and the ACE inhibitor works to counterbalance the ill effects that are going on with hypertensive patients in the kidney uh, by, by blocking this enzyme that uh, mm -hmm. the ACE stands for. This one has a real problem in terms of producing for many, many patients a chronic cough. Not a once in a while <coughs> kind of thing. I mean a hacking cough that persists throughout the entire day. And it can certainly interfere with, with business as you're trying to sure. talk on the phone. Uh, it, it, it just becomes truly more than just a nuisance. The next one is a brand new drug called a renin inhibitor. Mm -hmm. Renin is the substance that's made in the kidney that controls blood pressure. This one actually inhibits the production of renin. Unfortunately, it has those same uh, ill effects uh, as, as the uh, ACE inhibitor does in, in terms of potential for the cough. For the coughing. Uh, so that's two of them that cause the coughing. The cough. Then we have what's referred to as the, the calcium channel blockers. And it's important to note that what I've done in the book mm -hmm. is to literally spell out every single prescription drug used for blood pressure that's on the market here in America. Okay. both in uh, the United States and in Canada. Uh, not only their generic name, in this case, uh, nifedipine. Mm -hmm. Nifedipine uh, is something that uh, works very similarly to one of the supplements that I recommend right. in the book, one of my secret weapons as an alternative to a mm -hmm. drug. The nifedipine has two different trade names, Procardia and Adalat. So if you know that you're taking Adalat, you have mm -hmm. no clue what it is, you can go to this chapter, oh, find good. out what the drug, good. where that drug is, it's all listed in the index, go straight to the drug and find out exactly how it works, what it's doing in the body, 
and uh, and and the side effects and see where where you so go from really there. So you really spell this out for people. Oh, completely so. Yeah, as you as you'll need. see here, and we needn't go into extreme yeah. detail. There okay. are, for example, also alpha blockers mm -hmm. as compared to the beta blockers. They work in a slightly different way. Similarly, an ex explanation of how they work, okay. a listing of the drugs that are currently on the market in that category, the the combination drugs which are becoming more and more. Uh, uh, frequently used so that people can take one pill rather than two, because okay. when you when it, it as I said combination therapies, the reality is that in most cases of hypertension, one drug isn't going to do the trick, because a typical antihypertensive drug will give you on average ten points of reduction. Okay. Now. If you've been paying attention, which uh -huh. I know you have been, Raina, mm -hmm. you'll remember that the various kinds of agents that I recommend as mm -hmm. alternatives, the dietary supplements from natural kinds of sources, have that same kind of an approach. Uh, that they work in a very similar kind of method, thereby giving about a 10 point drop, which is the equivalent of one of those prescription drugs. Now, just as a doctor might prescribe two, three, or even four mm -hmm. of the prescription drugs in order to come down to what they call the target level of normalcy in blood pressure, you can combine one, two, three, four, five, whatever number of these approaches in the book tailored to your own specific needs to bring your pressure down to a point where you have totally reduced the risk of heart attack and stroke. Well, thank you very much, Bob, for that information. I know it would be very critically important to a lot of people. Thank you. Mm -hmm.